My association in this area goes back to my childhood when I was eight years old. My father said to me in the roadside tavern, he said, uh, go up to Kelleher's up in Ukdara. And who are you, a store? I said, I'm John Curtin's son. So she said, come on in here. And she made me some tea and uh, uh, three slices of brown bread and butter. You know, you can go along by the sea and never understand. You have such a, a, a magical, if you like, hidden landscape. And that's what I love about it. So I decided then that I would go out to the burren that I knew quite well, that I'm familiar with, and that I would put down some sugary liquid, some wort, and see what kind of yeast I captured. So I was fortunate in that I captured the slurry of wild yeast in the top of Cantinon, just over there. My name is Peter Curtin. I'm the jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> That's it, yeah. From where I captured the yeast in Canuck and Tinon, up in the Burren, as the crow flies, you're less than three miles away. It's the smallest uh, professional manual craft brewery in Ireland, and it's a point of distinction for the pub, having your own beers. The first part of brewing is making the wort, making the sugary liquid, the food for the yeast to eat. You put in the, uh, into what they call the mash tun, it's like a porridge pot, where you mix the grain with the water at the right temperature, which is between 63 and 67 degrees centigrade. That's left to set for uh, 90 minutes. Things are good, and nice. when you have nice beers in front of you, things even get better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we have the stout over this side. People in the States consider this to be in the top 5 percentile of stouts. And then over this side here, we have the, uh, the ale. The ale is a very much a traditional Irish ale. We have uh, the lager. We have our own unique euphoria. This is made with... Um, a slurry of three different wild yeasts. It's six different herbs. It was a, uh, a collaboration between myself and a local lady who's a herbalist, Lisa Guinan. and I am a herbalist and naturopath. Peter got on to me and he phoned me up one day and said that he was interested in making this group beer and what did I think? I thought it was a fabulous idea and would I come up with a recipe of herbs that could be used in the brew and I was only too happy. I was so happy to see somebody who was willing to do the old style beer and use herbs and involve local people. I thought it was fantastic. Sometimes she I'm Lisa Guinan, herbalist. So I can see. The herbs are put into a big sock. It's like a very fine sieve. And so all the extract from the six different herbs, they are boiled up uh, so the juices come from the herbs and they are then obviously in the liquid to pass over to the fermenter. Yeast is absolutely where the magic happens. Keeping the yeast happy is what it's all about. Essentially, a brewer is just the keeper of the yeast. I take some of the liquid that's already in the fermenter, I mix it in with a slurry of three yeasts, and then I just pop it in over the top. I was brewing one day, and then I come into the pub, and there are two American gentlemen sitting there, and I look at them, and they're having two pints of Burren Black Stout, and I said, boy, says I, that stout is just 20 minutes old, that's all. There's no preservation, there's no nothing in the beer. It's what you see is what you get. 
the mountain to Muhammad, the horse to water to make him drink. You can only find the beers in the roadside tavern pub in Listoon Varna. So you've got to come and say hello to myself. And you're all welcome. Well, I, I do that. It's, it's, it's just basically, a, a, as the Yang says, a long tube, a long tube. That's all. So I, I hook up the bright beer tank of the tube and it goes out through the wall down onto the, down onto the ground floor at the back of the pub. And then I have a tapping head and uh, I pull the lever, in goes the beer, and then when it's full, it squirts out a little hose on the side to indicate it's full, and then I'm a happy man and I take it off and on for the next king. Thank you.